in this session we are going to learn about bitwise operator in our previous session we have seen conditional operator comparison operators arithmetic operators now we are going to understand what is bitwise operator and what are the types of bitwise operator so now what is bitwise operator okay bitwise it basically means that the action which we are going to perform it will be performed bit by bit you can see this operators perform bit by bit operation on numbers now whatever numbers we are having suppose if i take an example of 1 so it is going to convert into binary number that we are going to understand later it is going to convert into binary number and this operators it is going to perform operation on bit by bit. Now these operators, what it means by these operators? Okay, these are basically bitwise operators. Later we are going to see the types of operators. Then you will understand what are these operators and what is this bit by bit operation. Okay, in JavaScript, these numbers will be stored as 64 bits floating point number. Now you can see this is one bit, this is second bit, this is third bit, fourth bit. So basically there are 32 bits here. So this particular one, it is called as one bit. This is called as second bit. This is called as third bit. So here totally it contains 32 bits. Okay, because all the bitwise operations are performed on 32 bit binary number. Okay, this is called as binary number. Why it is called as binary number? Because we are going to use base 2 and also we are just going to work on zeros and ones. Okay, but JavaScript stores 64 bit. Again, in the same way, we can add 32 more columns here and we can add the numbers. Okay, it will be storing 64 bit number, but bitwise operations are performed on. 32 bits binary number later on it will be converted into 64 bits and it will be stored now what is this one how we are getting this here i have written file how we are getting this 10100 that we are going to see but in this session what we are going to do we are just going to work on 4 bit binary number Okay, this is basically 5. You can see only we are going to work on this 4 bits. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that is the same thing I have just written here. Okay, now you will get confused what is bit and what is byte. Okay, this 8 bit, 8 bit is called as 1 byte. 8 bit is called as 1 byte and this particular thing this one is one bit this two is second bit third bit four bit these are called as individual bits but eight bit it is called as one byte so there are 32 bits here so basically it is four bytes 32 divided by eight we will get as four this 32 bit it is equal to four bytes okay now in this entire session, we are going to work on 4 bits. Now, how to find the value of 5? Okay, binary value of 5. I will just show you this one. Now, first we will be writing 5. Binary value of 5. I just want this one. So, I will be dividing by 2. So, as soon as I write 2, 2 2s are 4, so remainder will be 1. 2 2s two are 4, remainder will be 1. Again, this is divisible by 2. I will write here 2. 2 1s two are 2, remainder is 0. Okay, this is how we are just going to find binary value of any number. Okay, this will be the binary value of 5. You can see 1, 0, 1. This, whatever it is going, this numbers 1 0 1 you can see 1 0 1 will be the binary value of 5 but as i told you we are working on 4 bits so 0 will be added here so it has become 4 bits 
0, 1, 0, 1. This is the binary value of 5. Now, how to get this one? You can see 2 power 0 will be 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16. Same goes like this 2 power 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For binary numbers, we will be having the 2 as the base and we will find the power. Now, I want the 5. Okay, here, I have missed 2 power 2. 2 power 2 and here I will be getting the answer as 4. So, I wanted 5. So, here you can see here I am having 4 and here I am having 1. In between, I will be adding 0. So, 4 plus 1, I will be getting the answer as 5. Now, suppose if I just want 8. Only on 8, I will be writing 1 and rest all will be 0. And the binary value of 8 will be 1, 0, 0 and 0. In the same way, if I just want 10, in place of 8, I will write 1, place of 4, 0, place of 2, I will write 1, and place of 1, I will write 0. So, 8 plus 2, I will be getting the answer as 10. Okay, this will be the binary value of 10. Okay, this is how we are going to find the binary value of any number. You can find in this way or you can also find in this way. Okay, both will give the result. Now, let's see bitwise operators. What are the types of bitwise operator? In our previous session, we have seen about logical AND. Now, for this logical AND, we used to represent by two AND, but bitwise operator, only one AND. Bitwise AND operator, bitwise OR operator, bitwise NOT operator, bitwise x or operator this is right shift and this is left shift okay basically these are called as bitwise operators and these are the operators which will be performing bit by bit operation on the numbers you can see these are the operators which will be performing bit by bit operation on the numbers once we write the example, you will understand how these actions are going to be performed. Now, let's see about bitwise AND operator. If I am having 0 and 0, the result will be 0. 0 and 1, result will be 0. 1 and 0, result will be 0. And 1 and 1, the result will be 1. Now, how you will remember this one? For AND operator, if all are 1, only then the result will be 1. Otherwise, the result will be 0. Okay, this is basically AND operator and it will be represented by 1 AND symbol. Now, in the same way, we have OR operator. It will be represented by 1 pipe symbol. So, 0 and 0 will be 0. 0 and 1 will be 1. 1 and 0 will be 1. And 1 and 1 will be 1. Okay, in the same way, how we perform logical AND, logical OR, logical NOT, the same way, the same output we are going to get using this bitwise operator. Only difference is, there we will be using two AND symbol for logical operators, but for bitwise operators, we will be using only one symbol. So, OR operator, how we are going to remember? If all are 0, you can see this is 0 and this is 0, only then we will get the result as 0. For rest all, we will be getting the result as 1. If any one condition is 1, then we will get the result as 1. And if both the conditions are 1, then also we will get the result as 1. Okay, this is called as bitwise OR operator. Now, let us talk about bitwise XOR operator. Now, XOR operator is when are both the conditions, okay, 0, 0, I will get 0, 1, 1, I will get 0. But any 1 is 0 and 1 is 1, then we will get the result as 1. Here also, 1, 0, I will get the result as 1. For XOR operator, if both are 0, we will get 0. If both are 1, we will get 0. But opposite 0, 1. 1, 0, we will get the result 1. 
okay this is called as xor operation okay this is represented by using this symbol we have this one 0 will be converted to 1 and 1 will be converted to 0 okay it is just going to give the reverse output now we will see examples on this then we are going to understand more about bitwise and or not xor and finally we are having left shift and right shift which we will be seeing in next tutorial okay now let's see the practical about all these operators and understand the output regarding this okay now we are going to see about bitwise operator let me just come down i will be writing one comment here bitwise operator first we are going to see about bitwise and here let me just create one variable let x is equal to 5 let y is equal to y is equal to 1 let z is equal to x and y i will just print z i will save this before showing the output let us work here x is equal to 5 so 5 will be converted to 0 1 0 1 then y is equal to 1 so 1 will be converted to 0 0 0 1 okay i have already shown you how to get this binary number so we are having z is equal to x and y copy i'll just remove from here i will be pasting it here z is equal to x and y now what happens first x will be displayed 0 1 0 1 then i'm just going to display y so this is and so if both are 1 only then our result will be 1 for this 0 this 0 this 0 and this 0 so our answer should be 1 i will just show you the result you can see the answer is 1 now if i give here 8 and if i just give here 2 let us work here now for 8 we will be writing 1 0 0 0 and 2 we are just going to write here 0 0 1 0 okay this will be 2 i will copy this here i'll be pasting and this i'll copy and here i'll be pasting so you can see 0 okay all will be 0 here so now we will be all will be 0 now 0 and 0 will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 will be 0 and 1 0 will be 0 so our answer should be 0 i will save this you can see the answer is 0 okay this is how and will work now i will be writing or here now 8 let me just copy this one this is the 8 and this is r1 let me just remove this this is r2 so this will be and this will be 1 and also this will be 1 so 8 plus 2 so our answer should be 10 you can see the answer will be 10 okay this is the or for 0 1 we will get 1 0 0 we will be getting 0 so for that we have received that so now let us see about not operator i will just write here x i will save this now i have i have got the answer as false because whenever we are writing this one it is just going to convert not and we will be getting the answer either true or false as this is a number so this will be true not of true will be false now i need this one tilt i will save this now i got the result as minus 9 okay this you don't have to worry about signed numbers and unsigned numbers okay now we got the result as minus 9 okay as of now you don't have to worry about signed numbers and unsigned numbers you just have to know the basic example these numbers it is going to get converted whatever value we are having that will be converted to if i am having 0 that will be converted to 1 if i am having 1 that will be converted to 0 if i write here 1 
I will be getting the answer as minus 2. Okay, later on when we study about unsigned numbers, then you will understand how to get this minus 2. And also maybe in left shift and right shift, you will be facing these issues. We are going to understand how to convert this negative numbers using 2's component. If you are not aware of those topics, don't worry. We will be covering those topics in this series as well. Okay, this is not operated. Now in the same way, we have x odd. I will save this. Now the result is 3. Let us just check this one. X I will be writing 0, 0, 0, 1. And here let me just change the symbol. Previously I have not changed. And 2 we will be writing like this. And finally it should be or. So if this, if any 1 is 1, then we will be getting the result as 1, 1, 1. So this will be 1, 1 plus 2, we will get the result as 3. Okay, we have already seen when we will be getting this 1 for XOR operator or operator. So based on that, we have just calculated and we are getting the result. You can try many examples. You can create your own numbers and get the result. Just practice this one so that you will be having clear understanding on bitwise AND, OR and NOT operator as well as XOR operator. Okay, you should not get confused with logical AND, logical OR and logical NOT. Okay, those are completely different and for that we will be getting the result only in true or false for logical operators. But for bitwise operator, based on binary numbers, we will be getting the result. Okay, based on this particular values, we will be getting the result. And these numbers, you can calculate either like this or you can just calculate like this. Okay, we have just found the binary value. We are having multiple values. It's not like we are having only binary value. We have multiple values. We have hexadecimal, octa, we have. There are plenty of values. But in this entire session, we are just going to learn about binary values. Okay, this is how we are just going to find. And we are also having left shift and right shift. And this is also very important. And many people get confused with this one. What is left shift and what is right shift. So in next session, we are going to understand more deeply about these two operators. And we will do some examples and also I will be giving you homework as well so that you can practice and you can get the result. Okay, this is all about bitwise operator. It is nothing but it is just going to perform bit by bit operation on numbers. You can see these are the bits. Bit by bit operation it is just going to perform. 1 bit, 2 bit. It is just going to calculate like this. And we will get the result. Okay, that's all for this session. Next session we are going to continue with left shift and right shift.